Hey everybody, no guess Nico here. Just got a package in the mail. Um, I was contacted by Live Up Sports Direct to do a review on this level two charger. Uh, just got in the mail today. It's from Amazon. You can order this on Amazon. Um, full disclosure, they did send this to me for free to do this review. So I'm um, not getting paid for the review, but they did offer me this to do a review. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package, see how it comes from Amazon shipped. And then we're gonna go through our review and see my first impression. We're gonna test it out. Um, it's supposed to draw a certain number of amps. It's supposed to be programmable. I'm going to plug it into a car, charge, set the different amperage, and then I'm gonna check and I'll draw on my circuit breaker to see is it really doing what it says it's gonna do. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, as I'm opening the package, it's typical Amazon packaging. It's got a little bit of the air wrap in there and plastic wrap around the box. So, kind of typical of all Amazon packages. All right, lifetime customer support. Don't know what that means. Um, what if it fails to charge? Please check. So it gives a little kind of FAQ section here for the charger. Um, here's another contact us as the company made in China. So let's go ahead and see here's the front of the package. And it's sealed real good. I mean, they got this thing every spot where there could be anything get inside has been taped over. So, um, pretty impressed with the packaging so far. Let's go ahead and open this up. like they have a instruction manual in several languages ah, English so it says working voltage 120 230 and 240 so uh, we'll see how it looks so here's your 240 plug it does have the I'll take some pictures of this and put them up here but it does have the sideways plug so you can't plug this into a regular 110 it does have to be in a NEMA 620 plug so that's good there they have this bubble wrapped really well the rest of the cable is tied together and then the connector seems to be pretty well protected so let's go ahead and open this look at the charger itself feels pretty I mean it's a good solid plastic the ends seem secure nice cables not too stiff so let's go ahead and remove this right here and we'll take a look at the j1772 plug end if you're considering this charger so far, so good. I haven't seen any reason that would throw up an alarm for me to say that this is not of good quality. Nice all black. Release mechanism seems okay. It's got a nice rubber boot to protect it. O-ring on the inside. So far so good. Um, plug it in and we'll see how she does and 
got one button here on the front. It's supposed to be able to toggle through menus. So we'll go check that out once we plug it in and start charging the car. All right, that's all for the unboxing. So far, it seems to be of pretty good quality. Um, it's a serial number on the plug-in itself. So all right, put the cat back on and let's go plug her in and see how she does. Okay, so here we go. First plug-in. I have my original EV charger plug here. This is a NEMA 620. Don't mind a neighbor's dog. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in here. I'm going to take some pictures of this and put them up. But right now this is showing 237 volts, 16 amps. Um, I want to plug it into this car here, it's a Nissan Leaf 2017 model, fairly low charge right now, uh, and uh, see what happens. See if it charges at three kilowatts as it should. So, Everything seems to be working. Let's go check the display. Shows the battery charging here. 3.4 kilowatts, 15 amps. It says it's 27 degrees Celsius. I don't like Celsius. Uh, don't know if I can change that to Fahrenheit. But it actually shows how long it's charging and how many kilowatt hours has been used. So, so far 0 0.027 kilowatt hours. Um, bring that closer so you guys can see all that. All right, you can see where it says 16 kilowatts. Battery indicator says it's charging. And you can see here the volts, current amp draw. And then you can see here time and how many, oops, right there. Down here at the bottom, you can see how long it's been charging and how many kilowatt hours it's been consumed. A lot of information right there. And on the back side of this, it's even got a mounting hole. That way you could actually mount it to the wall and not have it hanging off the cord, which I may do that for this as well. All right, there you go. There's that. Let's check inside the car. All right, I'm inside my wife's car and uh, it's got about 42% charge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start the car. It's plugged in, so it didn't really start. It turns the accessories on. And I'm also going to turn on the AC because it's kind of stuffy in here. Um, let's turn the fan down a little bit that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you uh, my screen shows me what charge rate we are working with. Okay, here you go. Um, you can see her battery temperature is really high. That's, I got another video to discuss that um, if you want to look at that. But um, here we are. This showing I got 240 volt, 3 kilowatt, which matches what was said on that charger. So let's go ahead and cycle through that charger at different amperages and see what happens. I'm gonna go inside and check the amp draw at my box on this. And then we will uh, we'll continue on and cycle through all the amps and check the readings at the box for each one. Okay, here we are at my box. And here's the breaker, the 20 amp breaker for that charger. And I got it on the one wire so I can read the amperage that's actually coming through that. So let me turn this on. Uh, volts, volts. It's amp setting. So the box out there says 15 amps. I'm showing 14.4 amps at the box. All right, so let's unplug the car change it to a different setting, see what happens. Now I'm curious how the car is gonna react. 
It's normally used to either a three kilowatt or six kilowatt. Now I'm sending 1.4 kilowatts through to 40 volt. The car doesn't really have a setting to recognize it. So let's turn the car on and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Reset that. See, the car still says three point or three kilowatt, four hours. Now I can tell you right now, um, that's not gonna be four hour charge. What you got going on is every 3.4 kilowatts, you're taking 1.4 kilowatts. That's less than half. So what would have taken this car four hours to charge is gonna take eight hours to charge. No. Okay, if you don't wanna wait eight hours, you want it four hours, you bump it up to 16 amps. And it'll be fine, and your car will take it fine. Now, here's the kicker. This can only do up to 16 amps, which means you only do 3.4 kilowatts. What does that mean? That's about 11 miles per hour driven. Um, so as you charge for an hour, you can gain about 11 miles of range. It varies with driving habits, vehicles. Um, you know, the pickup trucks are going to be less because they consume more because they're heavier. Um, the light cars like the Leaf and the Teslas are more efficient. So you're going to get more miles. So on average, though, it's about 11 miles per hour. You can do the math, um, how many miles per kilowatt you get, how many kilowatts you're gonna get in an hour, you can do the math yourself. But, there you go. Um, that's six kilowatts. Now I'm gonna cycle through the other ones. I'm just gonna take photographs and I'm gonna post them up, the uh, photographs of each one, the amp draw versus the setting. That way I hit every single setting on this charger so you know what you're gonna get when you buy it. All right, I forgot to take a picture of the five amp draw which that was similar to this you can see i'm supposed to draw seven amps i got 7.1 at the box then i switched over to the 10 amp setting and you can see here i'm supposed to draw nine amps and i had 9.0 at the box pretty solid if you ask me and again the last one 12 amp 11.7 at the box so it's doing what it's supposed to okay so what do i think um checking the amp draw compared to what I got in the box. Pretty much what it said on the face of the charging unit is what I was drawing at the box. A few tenths different. Um, the eight amp setting looked like it was fluctuating about 0.4 amps, but um, that's not a major concern. It's not gonna cause any problems to your vehicle. You're still gonna get a great charge. Um, what I like about this charging unit is you can cycle between different amperages. Um, if you want to only get a little bit of a charge, you don't have to worry about going out and unplugging your car after a certain amount of time. Let's say you only want to charge to 80%. You can calculate six amps. If I plug it in, by the time I wake up, go to work, might be enough to get you to 80%. Um, if you want 100%, you want to charge it full, you can set it to 16 amps and it'll charge as fast as it can charge. So you have some flexibility there and I like that because a lot of people don't want to charge to 100%. And this unit will give you the ability to kind of select how fast you want to charge and where you're going to end up at by the time you unplug it. Um, things I don't like, um, for me personally, I don't like it. it's only a 16 amp charger. Now you may only need a 16 amp charger. Uh, maybe your wiring in your house Maybe you can't get six gauge cables. You don't have room for another circuit. Um, you only have a 100 amp service or a 60 amp service. This is nice because it's only on a 20 amp breaker. So if you can connect a two pole breaker, 20 amp, you don't have to have the big wire and it's not drawing all of your service down. So this may be a good option for you if you have a small service. Um, I personally like to have faster charging because uh, we, we have three EVs, so sometimes we're on the move and we have to charge fast. But this, I believe it's very well made, it looks very robust, and everything that I cycled through and tested worked. Now, charging it overnight, we'll see how it does overnight, and I'll check back in the morning. All right, thank you. Okay, so we charged it overnight and charged the car full by the time I woke up had no problems, uh, cord didn't get hot, um, passed the test. So to me, if you want a good EV 
level two charger, 16 amp. I would consider this brand. I would consider this one. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching.